All right. Um, so here's our first example. We're going to put to use this idea of um, finding equations for tangent and normal lines. Uh, we're going to do tangent and normal lines at a particular point. Then we're going to look for horizontal and vertical tangents. Okay. So our curve is the Limousin. So r is equal to 1 plus 2 cos theta. Um, so what we have is that r is 1 plus 2 cos theta. So that means that x as a function of theta, we multiply r by cos theta. So we get cos theta plus 2 cos squared theta. y of theta we multiply by sine. We get sine theta plus 2 sine theta cos theta. Um, and you might find it convenient to take that and write it as um, sine 2 theta, right? 2 sine theta cos theta is sine 2 theta. Might simplify your, your derivative a little bit. Why not? So that's sine theta plus sine 2 theta. Okay, so remember that we want dy dx, and that is equal to dy d theta divided by dx d theta. Okay, so dy d theta is going to be cos theta plus 2 cos 2 theta. Okay, and dx d theta is going to be sine theta, and here we're going to get minus 4 sine theta cos theta, right? Um, derivative of cosine, 2 comes down from the power rule, we get 4 cos theta, and then we've got to multiply by minus sine because of the chain rule. Gets us to there, okay? All right, so we've got that. Okay. If theta is equal to pi over 4, well, x of theta is going to be, oops, x of theta will be uh, cos of pi over 4, 1 over root 2, okay, plus 2 times cos squared theta, so 1 over root 2 squared gives me a half, times 2 gives me 1, okay, y of theta will be 1 over root 2 plus sine 2 theta. So sine of pi over 2, 1 half. Or sorry, sine of pi over 2 is 1, right? Yep. So 1 over root 2 plus 1. Oh, so x and y are equal. Convenient. Okay. And dy dx, dy dx, we just put things in up here, right? So we're going to get um, 1 over root 2. Um, when theta is pi over 4, 2 theta is pi over 2, cosine of pi over 2 is 0. So this is gone, right? We just get 1 over root 2. On the bottom, we have 1 over root 2. Um, and we might find it convenient to notice that this here is 2 sine 2 theta. And so we're putting in pi over 4 sine at pi over 2 is 1, so we get minus 2 there. 1 over root 2 minus 2, right? So that's the slope of our tangent line. And now we can finally answer question 1. The equation of our tangent line will be it's going to be y equals the y-coordinate, 1 plus 1 over root 2 plus the slope, 1 over root 2, 1 over root 2, minus 2. And then we multiply by x minus the x-coordinate, so x minus 1, minus 1 over root 2. We could clean that up a little bit, of course, but we'll leave it like that. Um, if you want the normal line of the, the, this is the example from the textbook, also asks for the normal line, remember the negative reciprocal rule for normal lines. So if we flip that slope over, 
put a minus sign out front, then you got the equation for the normal line, right? Um, running low on space, so I think I'll just write the equation of the tangent line. Um, how about if we want things like horizontal and vertical tangents? Maybe I'll do that over here. How do I get a horizontal tangent? Well, for a horizontal tangent, I want dy d theta to be 0. I want the numerator to be 0. So I need uh, cos theta plus 2 cos 2 theta. That has to be equal to 0. Uh, cos. So what you might want to do here is you might want to use some trigonalities, right? Cos 2 theta in terms of cosine. So cos 2 theta becomes 2 cos squared theta minus 1. Okay? So if we collect up terms here, we've got um, 4 cos squared theta minus, okay, then we've got plus cos theta minus 2. Okay, well, that's quadratic in cos theta, right? So then you've got to kind of, it's a bit fussy this one, but we can get her done, right? Cos theta would be what? Quadratic formula says it's going to be minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared uh, minus 4 times 4 times minus 2. So minus, minus becomes plus 1 plus 32, right? 4, 4 times 4 is 16 times 2 is 32. Um, over 2, well, I can solve for those values of theta, but they, they don't come out particularly nicely, right? Um, but nonetheless, I can, I can work that out, right? 1 plus or minus root 33 over 2, we can put that into our calculator. We can figure out the angles um, where we get horizontal tangents. Similarly, for the vertical tangents, right, we can, we can do vertical as well. Um, in this case, we can work up here, we can factor out the sine theta. We have sine theta times 1 minus 4 cos theta equal to 0. Um, so either sine theta is equal to 0, so that's going to be at, uh, at 0 or pi or, or 2 pi, if we're going between 0 and 2 pi. Of course, we get the same point at 0 and 2 pi. Um, we also get vertical tangents when cos theta is equal to a quarter. Again, those aren't nice angles on the unit circle, but with a calculator we can work out roughly what those values are.